Hey girl, just leave me. I am not in a good mood right now. What is it? Your face is not bright as usual. How are you doing? I was thinking you would come visit me today. Sorry dear, my director called me to be at the office earlier this morning, so I had to go. I came back not quite long. How was it? I hope it was not stressful. No, it wasn't. I just signed some papers, then came back home. You don't want to join my husband's company now, where you would be free to do what you want. So the offer is still on the table, huh? Of course it is. You are my best friend and I want to see you happy always. Thank you, dear. Have you seen your niece since she got home? Is she on break? I thought she stays with you. Not anymore. I kicked her out yesterday. What? Why? Maybe you should go ask her. She will tell you herself. No, I want you to tell me. After all, I brought her for you. If there is any complaint, then it should be led to me. I didn't know that all the time I was busy praising her for being different and showering her with gifts. She was busy begging my husband to sleep with her. No, that can't be true. Linda is a very decent girl. We grew up together. Oh, so you think I am lying? I didn't say you are lying, but I think you should have gotten your facts right before chasing her out. This was the reason why I said you should go ask her yourself. It would be better if we hear it from the horse's mouth. Oh my god. I feel so ashamed right now. I am really sorry, Monica. I didn't know she would do such a thing. Hey, come on. You don't have to apologize. You did not offend me in any way. I recommended her to you. Please accept my apology. I will talk to her. There is no need to talk to her, unless you want to correct her. I don't need her in my house anymore. Hmm, try. Linda of all people. This is like a shock to me. Forget about Linda, Jerry. Go and change up. Let's hang out somewhere. Okay. It seems this guy is not in the house. Everywhere is so quiet. Is this ours? This is his house. He lives here alone. Wow, this is so beautiful. I guess your friend is as rich as you. He's even richer than me. Maybe he's not in the house. We can go and come back later. Call him now. I've been calling him since, but he's not picking up. I don't think he went far since he kept his door open. Guy, how far? I thought a thief broke into my house. We were even talking about you. Why have you not been picking your calls? My phone is in my room. Didn't you hear it ring? How can a businessman like you be leaving his phone in the house? It seems you have forgotten I'm here. <laughs> no, my love. I can't forget you now. Ima, meet the love of my life. Wait. This girl looks familiar. Have we met before? No, we haven't. I know this girl. Were you not the girl that begged for my help a few months back? No, I... I... Shut up your mouth! Ima, I won't have you talk to my fiancée like that. Do you know her from anywhere? Yes, I know her. She's the girl I told you that stole my phone. What, Felicia? Is it true? I don't know what she's talking about. Please forgive me. I'm a changed person now. If you lie one more time, I swear I will break your head. You better tell him the truth. So you are a thief? How could you? You paid back my kindness with evil. Did I do bad for trying to help you? Please, I'm sorry. Forgive me. I'm no longer such a person. I have changed. Where is my phone? I sold it. You are such a wicked human being. Do you know what you cost me trying to get back all my customers' numbers? I can't believe this and I was even ready to marry her, not knowing she's a thief. Guy, permit me to use this girl as a scapegoat. Let me deal with her myself, so that next time she would know that thing is not good. Guy, I beg, Tampa justice with mercy. I believe she won't do it again. Yes, please, I won't do it again. Keep your mouth shut. I was not talking to you. I will only let her go because of you. Because she is your fiancé. God forbid, I can never marry a thief. Baby, please don't say that. I'm not a thief. I know I made mistakes in the past, but I have changed. Get out of my house!
Hello, mom. Joseph, my son. Oh, I miss you so much. How are you able to get this number? Your daughter gave it to me. How are you doing? I am fine, my son, but I miss Nigeria. I'm already homesick. I told you we'd miss Nigeria, but you doubted me. Now you have seen it for yourself. As in eh? It's not like I am not enjoying this side though. I just miss my house and my comfortable bed. I hope she's treating you well. Yes, she is. I am really having fun here. How is your wife and kids? Mom, please, I'm not in the mood for this. If you want to know about Monica, then she's fine. Did I say something wrong? I just want to know how about the kids too. Kids will always come at their own time. Okay, oh, I hope Monica is taking very good care of you. Yes, she is. If you see me now, eh, I look very healthy. That is good. My regards to her. Okay, mom. No problem. She will also be happy to know that you called. What about Linda? Is she still living with you? Give her the phone. Let me talk to her. You don't have any business with her, mom. We will talk later. Wait, don't hang up the call. Where is Linda? We kicked her out yesterday. She started developing feelings for me, which is not healthy for a married man like me. Oh, that was bad of her. I really liked her and wanted her to come meet me here. There's no need for that. I am sure she's happy wherever she is. When you see her again, please my regards to her. Okay, mom. I have to go now. I don't want to finish the small query you have on your phone. And you have forgotten you are talking to a millionaire. Okay, son. Bye. Hi, baby. Oh, my love. I missed you so much. How are you doing? Good evening, Nima. Wow, Queen. You are here too. It's been a very long time I saw you. Same here. I'm happy to see you once again. After all, you'll be my soon brother-in-law. <laughs> For sure. Only that Risa doesn't want to give me the go-ahead. Come on, my love. You know what I have at hand. Don't worry. As soon as she is done, I'll make sure she does not forget her upcoming wedding. That would be so nice of you. Queen, you look even more beautiful. It's because I haven't seen you in a while. I don't think so. Maybe her fiancé takes good care of her and the evidence is showing on her. Don't tell me you are still referring to Emerson as your fiancé. Emerson? I even forgot such a name as this. I thought you are here for me to help you talk to him. God forbid. I can't even remember the last time I saw such face. Emerson and I have not been in contact for a very long time. Now, this your visit is confusing to me because you have never visited me without Emerson. So, seeing you here now, that means you have something important to tell me. Yes, she definitely has something to tell you. <laughs> don't worry. I am not here to kidnap you. I don't mind if you kidnap me, as long as Risa will be there. Well, I came to invite you to my upcoming wedding. Your wedding? You are getting married. The wedding is only for family and friends. And you're my friend. Wow, congratulations, dear. This is a great news to me, considering the fact that you and Emerson cut off your relationship not quite long. Everything happens for a reason. God knew Emerson is not for her, so he had to end the relationship real quick. I don't hold any grudge against Emerson. I am inviting you because you are Risa's fiancé. You can decide to come with him if you like. Alright, dear. The date and the venue. Risa will feed you with every details you want to know. I am in a hurry now. Thank you for the pleasure of inviting me personally. Come on, we are still friends after all. Take care of yourself. Alright. Babe, I'll see you later. She looks so beautiful. Yes, she is. Ever since she and the guy got together, he has done nothing but make her more happy. That is the same thing I want to do for you. I want to make you more happy. Baby, you are already making me happy. I feel so happy when I am with you. If I make you happy, so what exactly is delaying our wedding? I'm already almost done, my love. Everything will be set very soon. Okay, I'll be waiting. <laughs> Emerson, so you are here. Yeah, if you are here to crucify me about that girl, you better not because I'm not in a good mood now. I am not here because of her. But seriously speaking, that girl does not deserve you at all. I can't still believe she's a thief. 
I mean, she looks so innocent. She did not just steal from me. She robbed me. Because a girl like her that can steal broad daylight on the streets is not just a thief, but a robber. Hmm, I'm saddened by this. I thought I could use her to get back at Queen. Don't even go there. In fact, Queen has moved on from you since. Who told you that one? That girl loves me so much, she can't move on. <laughs> Stay here and be deceiving yourself. My dear Queen has moved on. How do you know? Did you see her with the man? Queen came to my house a few minutes ago. She came to tell you that she has moved on. It is more like that. She came to invite me to her wedding. Wedding? Queen is getting married. Yes, she is getting married. She looked so beautiful and happy when she came. No, that can't be. She can't move on in such a short period of time. Why would I be lying to you? She came to my house with Risa. Does it mean she never loved me like she claimed? How come she moves on so fast? You both were not meant for each other. That was why you delayed the wedding. After engaging her for one year. No, now I don't think she has moved on. Maybe she just wants to get back at me. Just be happy for her. Your own woman will come soon. <laughs>